How do creative professionals stay out of fear? I've been a professional television writer for 26 years and I'm very lucky, but there is a downside to it. And that is I have to jump from show to show. When a show goes down, I got to find another job. If I'm lucky, that takes weeks. More often than not, it takes months. And that's how it is for all of us. And during that waiting time, it's very easy to fall into fear. And I spoke about this a little bit, why it's important to not be in fear when you're creative, because when you're in fear, you don't do your best work. So I, I made a video about this, but people were like, well, can you explain a little more? So here are the steps that I take to stay out of fear. One, I wake up every morning and I meditate for 15 minutes. I go to my chair. I have a practice that I do. If you want to learn more about my meditation practice, leave a comment and maybe I'll make a separate video. But I think it's important to start every morning by turning my brain off, by releasing all those thoughts so that later in the day, I can have more energy to be more creative and, and make my living. The second thing I do is something my friend Missy taught me. So in my line of work, it's very easy to think, well, what happens if I take this job? Or what happens if I don't take this job? What happens if I stand up to this guy who's a jerk? You know, will that affect my career? And, you know, you, it's easy to live in fear and make those decisions that way. And she taught me this phrase, which I love, which is, what lie am I telling myself? Because I don't have a crystal ball. I don't really know if I do this, some X, Y, and Z will happen. That's just a lie I'm telling myself. And that frees me up to make decisions that are more aligned with my values and what I really want. And the third thing is, so I teach an online screenwriting course. It's, re it's really writing, because it's, story is story. So if you're interested in writing, period, you can go check that out. The link is in my bio. But one thing that students often, or prospective students, ask is, well, this is an investment, I understand, but what happens if the investment doesn't pay off? What happens if I never make money as a writer? And I say to that, like writing, I teach writing, I teach how to tell engaging stories and how to access, it's good for your soul. Learning how to do that is good for your soul. That is the reward in and of itself, and it's better than a paycheck. It's a journey you go on. If you don't think you're gonna enjoy that journey, don't go on it. Go on a different journey. There's a wonderful YouTube talk by a guy named Srikumar Rao. I'll leave a link in a second. And he tells this wonderful story about people who climb Everest and they take some months and years of training and then they go to base camp, and they have to acclimate and then they have to go on this long trip up the mountain. And when they finally, after all this time, get to the top of the mountain, how long do they spend there? Five minutes, they take a selfie, they look around, they head back down. So the joy is not in arriving at the destination. The joy is in the journey. And so this is a journey you want to go on. You can make that joy, you can have that joy yourself. And I recommend you go on it. Uh, here's the link uh, to that so you can find the video I embedded on my website. Go check it out. For more tips on how to leave a creative lifestyle, you can follow me here. You can also follow me everywhere else on social media. The links to them are in my bio. Go on.